what's up youtube pj back with another video for you guys and it's been quite a while since i've made a video for you and it's freezing cold out here now i just can't stand whenever it's raining and then it just gets cold right after even though a few days ago it was warm Ugh, i hate that Ugh. all right so if you look inside my car you can see that i have a few things missing like my glove compartment just because I was trying to fiddle around with some of the vacuum lines and I'll explain that in a second. And this, my radio is out of my car. It's actually in the back seat just because I've broken a few things like, uh, probably can't see it. Well, actually, yeah, you can. Um, right here is, it was a bracket that went across right here and that broke off whenever I was putting my dash back in. So I Gorilla glued that. I need to install that. But that'll be something that I do off camera. So since it's been a while, let me just give you a recap of the past few things that went on. Um, The day that I ran the Corvette, like a few days after that, I noticed my car started running a little funny and I didn't really know what it was. And it ended up throwing in the check engine light. It was cold. P0507 and P1000 again and I believe that has something to do with my throttle body or something dealing with my idle or something like that. Uh, basically I had a vacuum leak and I think that I figured out what the vacuum leak is because when I start my car up and give it a little throttle I can hear it uh, more towards the passenger side. There's a little canister under the fender liner on the passenger side in the front and whenever I took the liner down and gave it a little throttle from the throttle body, I heard the whining sound, well, whistling sound a little more in the fender. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about under the hood. All right, so there's this vacuum line right here. And this thing is kind of deteriorating and things. And it's so easy for me to squeeze this. When I'm driving normally and whenever the vacuum pressure or whatever, it's easily sucked in. And I feel like this line is being pinched. And then whenever I'm in boost, uh, it's probably leaking out somewhere. This, like I said, goes down into the fender and I'll just have to remove this and see how it is. I've already bought another line to so go ahead and replace it anyways, but let me just see how this is. All right, so I have the line out and from the looks of it, it just looks very old. Um, I don't think I see any leaks or anything. Here's another real thin spot right here. You probably can't see it. Well, I know you can't see it on the camera, but I don't know. I'm just going to replace it anyways and see if anything gets better because like I said, this is very easy to pinch more so along this side because this is where the heat was but let me go ahead and change this out and see if it gets any better all right so i went on ahead and changed it out just because and my hands got real dirty so i didn't want to you know touch on the camera and things but this is the new line i ran it down into the fender liner i already jacked the car back down but it should be working correctly if not then my boost would still be only going up to about six pounds and gradually going up to about 10 or 11 or so and i don't really like that i don't like having boost leaks i don't like having vacuum leaks but i'm about to take this thing on a little drive all right so pulling out of the driveway hopefully everything's better i mean it feels like it's driving a little smooth
definitely still got a leak. Definitely. Day two. Alright, so it's day two of this vlog. It's actually a couple days afterwards. But it is one thing that I forgot to tell you guys that I have to do. And as you can see, I have a few boxes out here. This top one are my fog lights. Because, let me just show you my fog lights. My fog lights have been broken for a while. And I really don't like the way they look broken like that. Because rocks and stuff. I mean, I live in Louisiana, so that's going to happen. But I don't know. I just felt like I need a new fog lights. And the second box over here is something that I forgot to tell you guys about. And I'm glad that y'all do comment on the videos at times. Because I would have never probably thought about it. The throttle body that I installed on the Cobra a while back was actually for an 01 Cobra. And that's why when I was installing it, Mikey even said like, why are the wording, why is the wording upside down? And I was like, I don't know, but uh, it fits. <laughs> and just because the person I got it from, they said that it was from off of an 03 Cobra, but I don't know if they ran it or anything, but that's probably why my idling things are all messed up and probably why my car isn't running as good. So let me go ahead and take these off and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I just took off the throttle body and this is the one that was on the car, as you can see. This is how I had it on there with AccuFab upside down. Just because the actual throttle placement was on the right side, I didn't really think too much of it, but I see now I need to pay a little bit more attention. And this is the one that I just ordered. It's in the same position, but the AccuFab is actually on the top like it's supposed to be. And yeah, you can tell also by the way it's shaped. This one is more of a straight, like a top and bottom oval. And this one is more like a more cylindrical oval, I guess you would call it. Let me show y'all the back of them too. So this is the major difference. I believe this is actually why my idol was messed up. I didn't really think about this not having that little open port for my idol sensor. I forgot the name of it. But like I said, I didn't pay really much attention to it. But now that I'm swapping this out and I have brand new hardware and an actual gasket for it, hopefully this fixes my issue. I'm going to upload my 93 tune again afterwards because that's actually when the car started acting up i think that the tune accounted for the extra air that was supposed to be going in here through idle but i don't know hopefully it fixes it all all right so i've swapped out the throttle bodies still don't have my radio in still don't have my glove compartment in but now i'm uploading the tune again just because when i uploaded the tune the first time i noticed that the car started acting funny then it checked it threw a check engine light code and I didn't really like that it was called P0507, I believe, and P1000. But hopefully now that this is gonna, now this is gonna fix it, hopefully. Hopefully, y'all pray for me, fingers crossed. I believe that that's the only thing that was wrong with it. So uh, we'll see whenever I crank the car up. All right, time for me to go ahead and crank it up and see. So my car is idling kind of weird just a little bit it's like it's surging kind of i don't know if you can hear it or not but oh well i'll just figure out that with my tune but as far as these fog lights go um i think i'm gonna do that off camera just because i am on a short time schedule and i need to get some things done before i take the 2k and I need to go ahead and start that now and then it's gonna take me a long time to record i'm sure you guys will understand but if you follow my instagram you could keep up with the story there because it's easier for me to post an instagram post than to make a whole youtube video if you know what i mean but also just to let you know i think i figured out i don't know if you hear the rocks it's not really rocks but like it's a little rattle just listen and i think that that is actually my crank pulley if you look close enough while the car is off you can see that it's hitting a little bit right there so i went on ahead 
and I ordered a two pound crank pulley. It should up the boost a little bit. I know that along with that and something else I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Um, yeah, my clutch is pretty much out of the picture. So I'm gonna be needing a new clutch soon. But as far as exterior, I'm gonna clean her up, detail her myself, and I'm gonna try to fix this. But that's gonna be off camera also. But other than that, Pegasus, I believe you're gonna be ready for Texas 2K. One second. Nothing too much, but I think I'm ready to party. <laughs> 